diseases of T. Now we will see the list of important diseases in T. My name is N.H. Shankaradi and I am doing PhD plant pathology in Anamal University. So these are all the list of important diseases in uh, T. If you see, uh, first one is a blister blight which is caused by exobesity of vaccines. Second one is a pink disease which is caused by Phenirochite salmonicolor or Erythrium salmonicolor and grey blight or brown blight which is caused by Pestlosia TA black rot which is caused by Cartesium invisum or Cartesium TA and red rust which is caused by Sepaliorum parasiticus and brown root rot forms Laminosus sorry uh, Laminensis and black root rot which is caused by Rosalina arcutata twig blight or stem canker which is caused by Macrophoma T. cola and the last one is algal leaf spot which is caused by Sepaliorus virusens. Here all diseases are uh, fungal diseases except uh, red rust and algal leaf spot. Both are uh, algal diseases. So now we will see in detail about one by one. So the first one is the blister blight blister blight which is caused by exobesidium vexens. In the name itself indicate so blister like appearance can be seen on leaves blister like appearance now i will tell you what is blister like appearance so initially if you see the leaves the first visible symptom on the leaves is the first visible symptom of this blister blight is initially yellow color or oily spots can be seen small yellow color oily spots can be seen on the tender leaves and that too we can see on lower surface and later stages we can also observe it on upper surfaces See this oily uh, yellow color transculent spots initially appears on surface and the lower surface and when it comes to when, uh, when, when time invades or when time going on what will happen this oily yellow color spots slowly converted into blister like lesions so blister like lesions once the blister like lesions can be seen on the lower surface this we can clearly observe here blister like lesions so if you see the blister like lesions on uh, lower surface and curling of leaves also can be observed so once this oily transculent uh, uh, you know uh, spots converted into blister like appearance the leaf also slowly start to con uh, like a, you know converted into concave like depressions so slowly like curling can be seen so in the later stages and advanced stages what will happen in the severe stages a clear blister like and uh, how can I, I can say you know i can say that you know uh, a very you know bubble like appearance on the lower surface or some blister like uh, uh, appearance like we can say is uh, uh, you know like uh, uh, a bulged appearance can be clearly observed so coming to the management aspects so the application of copper oxychloride can be uh, gives a little bit a uh, management against this disease and the seedling should be protected on a weekly spraying basis and especially nursery so protective spraying uh, can be required uh, by using copper uh, you know uh, pro, uh, by avoiding the copper residues the pucky, uh, you know plucking keeping down the copper residues and repeated spraying also can be required so here we can recommend copper oxychloride at the rate of 10 grams and nickel chloride at the rate of 10 grams that can be recommended to spray interval between june september and october november an average of 10 to 15 days interval here why we are especially saying uh, spraying on this june and september or october november if you see here these two seasons are june to september and october to november are uh, seasons of almost rainy seasons or uh, light drizzling seasons so no, moreover this disease is favored by uh, low humidity and high rainfall also so i mean even average rainfall also can be suitable so we can, if you spray at this time so definitely we can uh, control this dis disease so the next one is a pink disease which is caused by pellicularia salmonicolor so here uh, the name itself indicates pink disease so pink spots or pink like appearance can be seen on the uh, uh, leaves and as well as uh, stem see here we will see uh, this, uh, various kinds of symptoms one by one so i don't want to read all these kinds of symptoms so it will get confused so let me tell you the most important concentrated symptoms so initially what will happen a frink fructification so let us imagine it is a stem so let us imagine it is a stem and it is a leaf so a small print fructifications can be seen on the affected stem regions and as well as leaf regions sometimes uh, leaf regions also we can see so in small fructification that is pink color fructifications can be seen so once this fructification can be seen the leaves region may make sure the leaves region the young leaves shows dieback symptoms or wilting symptoms for your understanding it's a wilting symptoms so once the pink color fructifications appears the leaves slowly starts to produce dieback symptoms or wilting symptoms 
so what will happen in the later stages this uh, branches increases thickness and slowly what will happen the bark will uh, uh, not died but especially what if if you see this uh, disease the disease uh, uh, you know uh, appears on the leaves which is especially which is on uh, shady areas so if there is more amount of shady area or more amount of uh, shade side will be there the severity will be more compared to the uh, other leaves which is shows uh, which shows which exposed to sun much so the branches is uh, in later stages uh, the print color uh, tissues become very old and uh, white color discolorations also can be observed on the later stages so coming to the management aspects uh, so application of potash uh, uh, will help uh, to get out of the from this disease because so the application of potash will help you to improve the uh, you know like uh, disease resistance as well as a drought resistance so it will help to uh, get out of this uh, disease so here uh, it is very uh, difficult to eradicate the affected plants because say tea plantation right so it's a very difficult to eradicate so application of potash will definitely give some amount of recovery so coming to the gray blight which is caused by pestilosia ta so the most important symptom here the disease can mainly appears on older leaves make sure not younger leaves the disease can ap appear on older leaves initial stages small brown color spots can be seen on the older leaves not younger leaves make sure once again the small brown color spots initially seen on the older leaves soon they turn into when times invades so later it will happen that they slowly turns into gray in color the slowly turns into gray in color so one more thing that we have to observe is initially the small spots coalesces the spots coalesces and coalesces in later stages the small spots can be converted or turned into very big color spot big sized spots so here uh, I have, I have, the black dots can also be seen uh, uh, on the uh, both surfaces of uh, leaves and concentric lines can be also be seen but when it comes to the important symptoms small brown spots can be appeared the small brown spots later turns into gray color spots uh, gray color spots coming to the management aspects spraying of copper oxychloride as well as bodo mixture at the rate of 1% can give uh, can manage this is very effectively so coming to the black rot disease so the name itself indicates black rot so initially if you see on the first first picture if you see on the first picture so in the veins in the veins as well as in the midrib region so small block color sorry black irregular dots can be seen initially small irregular dots can be seen later the small irregular dots can spread to all over the uh, remaining uh, plant pots like especially leaves eventually it covers the entire leaves if this is the second stage this is stage 1 initially small spots or dots can be appeared in midrib region as well as on the leaf surface in the later stages the infected leaves totally converted into black color appearance the initially this black color appearance can be observed on a lower surface and small you know powdery growth also can be seen once we once the leaf is con uh, completely converted into black in color and later stages what will happen later stages the entire leaf is converted into black color we can see clearly see here black color black in color and they droop off coming to the management aspects so pruning of crop at december and you know collection of all the dried leaves and burning out will be very efficient and spraying of copper oxychloride at the third week of april also can give uh, efficient management practice against this disease so coming to the next one red rust so which is algal disease which is caused by sepaliurus virans so here uh, a small you know initially what will happen on the lower surface i am telling you initially on the lower surface what will happen small water soaked small water soaked uh, you know brown color or orange color spots can be seen so later stages on the exactly on the upper surface so initially on the brown color or orange color spots or rusty pustules can be seen on lower surface this is the lower surface when it comes to upper surface black color or purple color spots margins or spots a clear spots on the upper surface black color or red black color or purple color spots are uh, can be seen on uh, midrib regions on the margins also we can see on the under surface when time invades what will happen when time goes on or when time uh, going on what will happen on the lower surface the purple red color uh, spots are converted into brown in color purple red color spots converted into brown in color 
coming to the management aspects avoid poorly drained side because uh, if you provide a, a, a proper drainage it will be very easy to control this disease and providing air circulation uh, in the plant canopy especially that reduce humidity and duration of leaf fitness period it is very very important because so if you see all the rust diseases or algal diseases if more humidity and as well as the more leaf fitness period will be there the rust will definitely occur so it's a better to reduce the uh, air uh, pro provide a good air circulation as well as uh, uh, proper amount of space in between the plant canopies can efficiently manage this disease and also we can also recommend the spraying of bodo mixture at one person and destruction of affected plants also can be uh, 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 important and also uh, one of the important practice is application of nitrogen pass present potassium that is npk in proper amount also uh, will be very efficient in managing this disease the next one is twig dieback or stem canker which is caused by macrophoma thecola so here uh, the name itself indicates twig dieback or stem canker so here the twig regions if you see it's, this we can see here twigs so the twig region shows a dieback the brown color uh, uh, initially what will happen the symptoms include brown dropping of leaves the dieback of leaves we can see initially see all the leaves are slowly converted into brown in color then later stages what will happen the dieback dieback in the sense simply wilting like uh, symptoms it can produce and it can simply fall out from the uh, 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 plant so in the later stages this small uh, uh, you know from the small branches it will spread to other uh, parts of the body and the entire branch and the twig can dieback produce dieback symptoms downward direction if you see here this is uh, initially at a small brown color uh, leaf discolorations later stages that is spread to all that twig and we can clearly see here how uh, how twig dieback or stem canker will be there so coming to the management aspects uh, uh, you know planting well and providing a good drainage facilities in especially acidic soils and uh, you know uh, uh, removal of affected twigs or you know burning of the affected twigs or cankers of and disinfection to them or you know uh, i mean burning them will be uh, one of the efficient management practices and also we can recommend the application of uh, productive fungicides and you know uh, especially especially at uh, uh, natural leaf drop or you know up if there is an appearance of scars or some kind of uh, you know spots uh, you know uh, if such kind of uh, uh, diseases sorry disease symptoms can be seen uh, so it's better to apply some kind of systemic fungicides so the next one is a black root rot which is caused by rosalina arcutata so the name itself indicates black root rot so rotting of root so if you see here root rots so this is mainly due to <coughs> maybe soil ph level or maybe a uh, uh, high amount of uh, uh, water that is also one of the region so when tea when it comes to the tree bushes so in between the tree bushes what will happen uh due to a close canopy or due to close spacing what will happen the moisture content will be automatically increased in that uh, you know in the canopy areas so that is also one of the um, one might uh, reason and the leaves you know uh, 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 the, if you see this kind of uh, uh, you know <clears throat> uh, you know rotting or uh, if you see cut open this we can clearly observe some kind of mycelium that is uh, rosalina mycelium can be seen and uh, you know uh, uh, at the surface of mycelium what will happen uh, the stem slowly starts killing itself because the mycelium will be there right so the mycelium slowly will uh, kill the uh, surface of the bark or as well as the uh, root regions and the swelling of roots also can be uh, uh, observed in later stages if you pull out this uh, uh, you know tree, uh, tree plant uh, uh, tree uh, bush we can see like a, a dead pith or uh, uh, slowly deading of uh, deadening uh, uh, roots and as well as stem region can be clearly observed so coming to the management aspects removal and destruction of the infected plants it, when it comes to me uh, it will be very difficult because so the removal and destruction of all the plants will be it's not a, a small at small uh, 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 work for this uh, especially tea plantation it's a very big deal and coming to uh, you know clean cultivation as well as the fall cultivation of uh, fallen leaves and most important is uh, you know uh, uh, at the time of uh, 
uh, using of root stock make sure that we are using resistant varieties or resistant cultivars and uh, dig a dench of infected bush to provide a, a efficient amount of sunlight if there is efficient amount of sunlight uh, there will be no chance of uh, you know infecting of mycelium and growing further so this is the these are the management practices coming to horse hair blood which is caused by marasmus crinis crinis equi and coming to the symptoms uh, black fungal uh, uh, threads or horse hair attached upper surface twigs can be uh, uh, can be seen here and when it comes to the fungus penetrates inside the inside the twig region and produce a volatile substances that cause a rapid leaf drop so here this marasmus once it get infected and it get you know uh, it penetrates into the uh, uh, infected twigs once it get penetrated into the inside the twig let us consider it is an infected twig let us imagine it is an infected twig once it get the mycelium is penetrated inside it produce some kind of volatile substances so that might be the reason or responsible for the rapid leaf drop once it get interest into that what will happen the production of volatile substances will lead to the leaf drop we can see though you know like wilting like sub, uh, uh, symptoms as well as leaf drops can be seen so coming to the management practices uh, removal and destroying of all crop debris around the plants and prune out the infected uh, or dead branches from the plant canopy is one of the best management practice so coming to the questions we can expect uh, uh, you know castle organism that is a twisted blight is caused by exobacin vex a very very important one and pink disease which is caused by cortisium salmonicolor or uh, pellicularia salmonicolor that is one of the important disease and we can also uh, expect some kind of you know Uh, uh you know like uh, um, regarding uh, disease symptoms as well as especially as far of my knowledge we may expect uh, castle organisms uh, uh, from tea so that's all about it and recently i had published a book uh, uh, named into a vision into plant pathology a complete uh, student version so this book contains you know almost all all kinds of uh, uh, plant pathology related aspects and subject that a plant pathology student required so it will be very useful for each and everyone so you guys if, who are interested please uh, can take a look into it